Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make the uh, SNES 9X emulator look as uh, good as possible. I did do a video on this before, but I found out that you can actually use the um, filter that uh, most people use with the retro arch. You can actually use that with the SNES 9X emulator. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Now, I did search for this for a while, and I did find a site that finally has the correct plugin that will work with the emulator. So what you're going to do is open up your browser. You're going to head over to this, uh, you know, file right here. We're going to go ahead and download this file. So keep that one on your hard drive. Now, there's a step to even make it look better, and that's going to be done with reshade. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit this page here. I'll put both the links in the description so you can, you know, go to both websites and download those. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and close your browser. Go ahead and open up the file that has the files you downloaded and preferably the other folder that has the emulator in it. So this is the file that we downloaded here for the uh, for the effect here. So for the filter, so go ahead and right click on that and just extract it here. You're going to take the files from this folder, the scale XF folder. You're going to copy that and paste it into the folder that has the emulator. Uh, once that's done, we can go ahead and set that up first. So we can go ahead and close that window. Let's go ahead and start up the emulator. So if you've used this before, it'll be, you know, the easier for you. I'm going to go ahead and do the resolution in 1920 by 1080. So let me make sure that is set to that. So let me change that right here. And, you know, you can set that to whatever you want on your system. I'm just doing that for the purpose of the video. So you're going to leave the output imaging processing uh, blank and also high res blank here and i believe you can leave that on. i don't think that makes a difference if these aren't chosen so you can leave it like that now i chose to run it with the vulcan uh you know and you can do it with the vulcan direct 3d or also the OpenGL. now for this one i believe that only OpenGL and vulcan will work with the uh filter plugin so let's go ahead and choose one of those and like I said, 1920 by 1080 or whatever you prefer, you can leave these settings as you see on here. Now, to get this to work with that filter, what I'm going to do is just show you really quick how it looks without that. So we'll just load one here super quick. I'm going to go ahead and maximize that. So as you can see, that's what it looks like without the filter. So that kind of mimics what the, uh, you know, what the unit looked like before. Only difference, it would be the, uh, the smaller window. So it would more or less probably look like this. So the 4-3 aspect would probably look like so. I think I can do that by, okay, maintain aspect ratio. So I would, so this is what, more than likely what you would notice if, you know, you had the original game. So it would look like this. So we're going to go ahead and prove that to white screen. So let's go ahead and put those settings back where they were. I'm going to take this off. Seven, and it should put it back in 1910 by 1080. So there we are. So once you have that, uh, hit the you know the alt and the enter key you're going to go ahead and click on video you're going to go back to the configuration so once you've made your options you know your choices on here you want to go ahead and click use shader we are not going to use direct 3d for this because it will not work so you want to make sure this use shader is on you're going to click on here and now you're going to go to the folder location where we just put the files so that's going to be the location for me. It's going to differ for you, but make sure you go into the scale FX folder and you're going to pick this uh, option right there. You're going to click open and you're going to click OK. And now when you open the game, you're going to see a really big difference in how it looks. As you can see, that looks super sharp. Now, it may look a little uh, blurry for some people. They kind of like uh, the image to look a little bit more pixelated. You can actually make it look even smoother than this. So if you're not, uh, or if you haven't used reshade before in the past, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get that going. Now, if you've already used that in the past, uh, you'll be able to get it to work and it'll look fine on your computer. For those of you that have not used it, go ahead and just stick around with the video. So we're going to go back into, uh, you know, whatever folder you uh, extracted the reshade program too. There is a new viewer version that's been up for a couple of days. It's the 6.1.1. Uh, so go ahead and start that. Once you get that to start, click on browse. You're going to navigate to the folder that has the emulator in there. 
you're going to click on the emulator executable itself you're going to click open and then on this part here you're going to pick whichever one you were using and remember for that plugin or for the filter it's either got to be OpenGL or Vulkan I'm using Vulkan in this instance so I'm going to go ahead and pick that we're going to click next once this window generates we're going to click just this one here and then we're going to do the only one we're going to use out of here is CRT uh, to save time you can just go ahead and uh, and just leave those all checked or you can choose to you know, uncheck them and just leave the CRT but this will just make it quicker so once you've hit that next you're going to go ahead and relaunch the emulator again I'm going to launch the same game so you can see the changes so once you're in there once you see that extra writing on the top that means the uh, you know the item should be up and working And for some reason, I lost the configuration we had earlier. Okay, so let's maximize that and it should pop up again. Here we go. Start that again. And there we are. So it is now working. So now we're going to go ahead and hit the home key. That's going to bring up these option windows. See here, we're going to hit continue, continue again. And like I said, there is a lot of filters on here. The one that we're going to use for this is just to simulate the scan lines, and that is going to make the image come a lot uh, smoother. So once you hit it the first time, you're going to see the CRTs like that. We're going to go ahead and change that to make it sharper. First thing you want to do is go ahead and scroll down to the brightness, set that at about a thousand five or a thousand six hundred, more or less. If you leave it on default, it's going to look uh, a little darker so you want to go ahead and uh, you know put the brightness setting up then for the scan line bloom and the other one i like to turn off and then you know you can leave that on it's up to you but we'll go ahead and set the scan lines now the resolution so go ahead and slide that up and you can more or less set that there like you see so now you can tell it does smooth it out and it looks you know, way way better so that all depends if you want it to, you know, look like this with the scan lines or if you want it to look the way it was looking earlier. Once you have chosen that, just go ahead and uh, exit out. Now, one quick tip, if you want to get the uh, the FPS to come on the upper right hand side all the time, you can go into settings. If you leave show FPS with the uh, block on, it's only going to show the FPS when the overlay is on. If you want the FPS to show all the time, just click it when you see the check mark. When you hit the home key and close the window, you will still see the frame rate on the upper right hand side. So that is the end of that one. As you can see, the picture looks nice and sharp. So we're done with this video. So if you guys went ahead and you know go ahead and make use of that, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment or any questions in the comment section. We'll see you guys soon. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.